everybody. Welcome back to Storytime from the Twinsburg Public Library. Today we'll be talking about my favorite season of the year, fall, and all the fun things we'll be able to see and do this year. So before we get started, we've got to say hello to each other. So let's see. At the Twinsburg Library, we like to say hello in a very special way. How about today? Let's say hello as slow as we can. Do you think we can try that together? Let's do it. Bread and butter, marmalade and jam. Let's say hello as slow as we can. Hello. Great job, everybody. Let's see. What is, does anybody know what is the opposite of slow? Fast, you're right. Let's see if we can say hello as fast as we can. Ready? Bread and butter, marmalade and jam. Let's say hello as fast as we can. Hello. Hello. That was so fast I almost couldn't even see you. Well, since we are all ready for story time, maybe you can help me greet a very special guest today. And this special guest is hiding in our barn here. And let's see if we can figure out who will be joining us today for our story time. Let's see, we have another special song to sing, see if we can get this guest to come visit. We'll say, um, an oink, a moo, a cock-a-doodle-doo, who is in the barnyard playing peek-a-boo? Let's see, this friend today is very big. One of the biggest animals you might see on a farm. Hmm, this friend is black and white. And if you say hello to this friend, it might say moo. Who do you think it is in our barn? Let's see, we'll knock on our barn door. Barn door. We'll say knock, knock, knock. Open up. It's a cow. A cow is our special guest at story time today. So maybe you can help me get this cow ready for story time by counting up to 10 little cows with me. We'll go one little, two little, three little cows, four little, five little, six little cows, seven little, eight little, nine little cows, ten little cows say. Does anybody remember what our cow said? Moo, you're right. And now our cow friend is all ready for story time. Thank you, everybody. So our first story today is Goodbye Summer, Hello Autumn. This is by Kennard Park Pack. Excuse me. We'll see all of these beautiful things. We'll see this fall. Let's see. First, we have to say hello late summer morning. Hello tree. And the trees say hello. Now that the cool winds have come, we love how our branches sway in the sun. Hello, playful foxes and singing blue jays. Hello, we are busy looking for food. Some of us are heading south to our winter home. Some people spend their winters in the south as well. Hello, walking stick and butterfly. Hello, we're surprised you saw us. We try our best to blend in and we'll do the same in warmer places. They use really good camouflage, don't they? Really good hiding. Hello beavers, hello chipmunks. Hello, we have no time to play because we're making cozy nests and dens. It will be cold soon and we want to get ready. That's right, just like we might buy a new winter coat or new mittens or a new hat. These beavers and chipmunks have to get their homes all cozy and ready. Hello flowers. Hello. We are leaning into the sun. Enjoying the last summer rays. Some of us, like axters and flocks, are late bloomers. We make the end of the season even more colorful. Hello, thunder. Hello. 
You can hear my low rumble from far away. My clouds loom over the open fields and quiet hills. Hello, breezy wind. Hello. I love to whoosh, drizzle, and leaves through the misty streets. Hello, chill in the air. Hello, it's time to bring out your thick sweaters and scarves. It's my favorite getting ready for all these cozy clothes we get to wear. Hello, puddle. Hello. Now that the wind has come, I often get covered with fallen leaves. Hello, leaves. Hello. We are changing our colors. Some of us turn red or brown while others turn gold or yellow. The dogwood leaves turn purple. That's so cool. I don't think I've ever seen purple leaves. Hello, big orange sun. Hello. I am setting earlier and earlier now that summer is coming to an end, but I will see you again tomorrow. So as the sun sets, we say, Goodbye, summer. Goodbye, summer. And hello, autumn. And how fun. I am so excited for fall and all of the fun things we'll get to see and do in the next couple months. So since we read such a fun fall story, maybe you can help me sing a really fun fall song have you ever found acorns outside? Acorns are really fun to look for and they fall from trees. I find them on the ground a lot, but if you look up, you might see them in a tree. But maybe you can help me and pretend to be an acorn. So we'll sing this song really slow at first so we get to learn all the words and then we'll sing it faster all together. Ready? It starts out, I'm an acorn, small and round. Lying on the cold, cold ground. People always step on me. That is why I'm cracked, you see. I'm a nut. 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 We made fantastic acorns. Let's try it again all together just a little bit faster. We'll go. I'm an acorn, small and round, lying on the cold, cold ground. People always step on me. That is why I'm cracked, you see. I'm a nut. 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 We make wonderful acorns. So maybe you can go outside and find some acorns of your own at home or at the park, wherever you think you'd see some big, big trees. Speaking of trees, our next story is all about trees and leaves in the fall. And it's full of beautiful pictures, just like ones you might see outside this fall. It's called Full of Fall by April Pulley Sayer. Let's see some more beautiful things that we might find this fall. Our story starts, it says, September sun is low in the sky. So long summer, green, goodbye. That's right, say goodbye to the green for a few months. One leaf, another leaf, color surge. Wow, meet the trees, their shapes emerge. Trees come in so many colors and shapes. Let's see, we've got yellow ones, red ones, orange ones, even some green ones still peeking through the trees who haven't lost their green color yet. Let's see how many colors these leaves come in. We'll say hello, yellow, and greetings, gold. Oh, it's think, orange and red. Be bold. Leaves frame trunks, light and dark. We've got ripples, reflections, berries, and bark. 
a cute squirrel. Maybe you can find a squirrel living in a tree this fall. I know I'll be looking for them. Limbs and layers, leafy lanes, margins, midribs, sunlit veins. If you look really closely at a leaf, you'll be able to see, just like us, they've got ribs and veins running all the way through them that take water and nutrients to all different parts of the leaf. Very cool. But soon, oh no, what do you think will happen? What happens after leaves change color? They go from green to yellow or orange or red. Trees are ready. Twigs let go. Leaves slip and spin. Wind sweeps. Leaves blow. They drift and dry. Their edges curl. They float and sink. They snag and swirl. So many leaves. The forest glows. Leaves fade and brown and decompose. That's a cool word, decompose. That, mean, that means leaves break down and become soil for new trees to grow. Fall is ending. Goodbye, leaf show. Winter is coming. Oh, hello, snow. And then there are even more fun things to do in the winter. Well, I don't know about you, but I am so excited for fall to start and I can't wait to see all these leaves change colors and jump in leaf piles and have hot cider and feel the cool breeze and a warm sweater. So hopefully you'll have fun this fall too and think of some really fun things to do with your family. But before we all go, how about we say goodbye to each other in a special way we do here at the library. We sing a song called The Library Doors. So all together we'll go, the library doors go open and shut, open and shut, open and shut. The library doors go open and shut all day long. We check our books in and out, in and out, in and out. We check our books in and out all day long now our time is up but we'll see you real soon see you real soon see you real soon our time is up but we'll see you real soon at the library thank you so much for joining us today everybody hope you see you real soon bye